Okay, we we're given the general form for the equation of a circle. And three points that the circle passes through. So we need to find the values of D, E, and F. And if the circle passes through 0, 0, that means when X is 0 and Y is 0, you get a true statement. So put 0 in for X, 0 in for Y. All these terms disappear, and you get F equals 0. Put 0 in for X and negative 4 in for Y. Y, negative 4 squared is 16. Again, X is 0. Put negative 4 in for uh, Y, and you get negative 4E. We know already know F is 0. So E equals 4. And similarly for 5 comma 0, when X is 5, X squared, or 5 squared is 25, plus 5D, D equals negative 5. So there's the values of D, E, and F that generate this circle right here. Now, if you want to know where the center is, you can convert to center radius form by completing the square. Remember, to complete the square on x squared minus 5x, we take half of the minus 5, just minus 5 halves, and square it, 25 fourths. And y squared plus 4y, complete the square, half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. We have to add those same numbers to the right side of the equal sign. And then we can convert these perfect square trinomials into binomials squared. As shown here, combine the fractions on the right side. And now you can identify the center and the radius. The center is at negative five half, uh, is at five halves, negative two, and the radius is the square root of that number right there. So the square root of 41 over two is the radius. Uh, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.